Hi, this is Tyler from Teach This. Today I'm going to show you a program called Zodo, or uh, at least I hope that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled X-O-D-O, -O, uh, and it's a great way for students to view and complete PDF files like worksheets, activities, or assessments online, and then save them with the annotations to submit back to you. So Zodo is a free piece of software available from the Apple or Android App Store. Here it is in the Apple App Store. It's also available as a web app, meaning you can use it from any computer's web browser. But in playing with it this morning, I think it's on the tablets where it really shines. And I think that's probably where you'll find it the most useful, and where most of your students will be able to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and open the app. Now, in the documents list, I have a number of things, including um, the Year 6 Activity Pack that Teach Us has put together for students who uh, are staying at home. If we take a look at one of our worksheets here at random, you'll see we can read the worksheet just as normal. Um, but we're also able to work on the worksheet. So by clicking this button at the top here, the square with the pencil, we come up with all of the Zodo controls. And in here we've got things like a pencil that allow us to just go ahead and write the answer. Oh, goodness, now I've got to think about these things here. Or perhaps better done with a pen. We also have the opportunity to insert text. If it seems like that was edited to make it look faster, you are 100% right. And once those are, so we have typing, we have writing, they can also draw shapes for whatever reason they might need to do that. Uh, with any of the, the things you're using, you can quickly click this button back there to undo something that you've done. And once things are saved, you also have this eraser tool, which will quickly erase anything that you didn't mean to put on there. Mistakes are a fact of life, and luckily with Zoto here, you're able to correct them pretty quickly. Another thing that might be very useful for students is the ability to highlight or underline passages. They can do that, again, right with their finger. Now, if they've got an uh, Apple Pro, or sorry, an iPad Pro, they'll be able to use the iPad Pencil as well, which will help them get even more exact with their writing. So while I'm working on that activity pack, I'm just going to airdrop a new worksheet from my PC. You can see it comes up on my, <clears throat> excuse me, comes up on my iPad. I just tell it to go to Zodo, save that, and up it'll pop. This one's a perfect one for something like this. You can see the activity pack is still saved in the other tab. But in this new tab, I've got a new worksheet here. Now, let's, uh, let's go back in. We'll grab from along the top, sorry, let's do that again. From along the top, you can see here our pen tool. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna select the highlighter tool here, and I can use that for this worksheet in a perfect way to highlight the bits that I need to complete the worksheet. Now I'm just using my finger here, but again, if I had an Apple Pencil with a uh, an iPad that could use that, I could use that as well. I can change the color to just about anything I'd like. Look, I was about to leave and then I realized that there's something on here that I've discovered that I haven't shown you, which is a very, very cool tool. And so let me, let me walk you through that one right now before I send you on your way going to send another quick uh, quick worksheet to myself. This is an assessment for angles for year five. Now one of the tools that we have, again, we go up to the pencil in the square up in the top right corner, click on that. One of the tools we have under the pen tool is a ruler. And not only is it a ruler, if we turn the ruler, you'll see 
It actually has the features of a protractor. So here we go. I'm going to move that up there. I'm going to select my pen tool. And with that tool in place, I'm just going to draw along the ruler just the way your student would in real life. And then I can, oops, I can rotate that. I suppose I haven't done a reflex angle here, so this is what not to do, kids. And there we go. Now, while I've got this up, let me show you how the student will then be able to save and submit this. By hitting save, everything we've drawn on there will be embedded into the PDF. It creates a whole new PDF for us to use now. I get rid of my drawing tools by hitting the X and now by hitting either share or export I prefer share up will come all the options the best one for a teacher is going to be mail when they click that there'll be a copy of the sheet that they've just worked on now I have found and don't ask me why it does this it always looks a little bit strange in the preview here but when the sheet downloads on email it looks just fine so don't worry about what it looks like here. The final version that you'll receive in your email will be exactly as the student did it. By submitting that, it'll go straight to your inbox with a copy of the worksheet they've been working on. Well, I hope that's helped you with uh, finding a way to get these students completing and sending you worksheets. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.